Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kate Bonnie Country. Thanks for stopping by. You can call me Kate. Come on in and have a seat while we watch the puppies play. You all know Tamir from watching the channel. If you follow my other channel, Kate's Country Critters, you might recognize Trigger. He is an orphaned terrier mix from the Bibb County, Alabama Animal Shelter. His owner passed away, so he was surrendered when no family member was able to take him in. You are watching as we introduced Trigger to our pack. Tamir, being the youngest and most friendly to strange dogs, was first. We brought him into the dog pen. The pack rarely uses it, except when the weather is hot and they want to splash around in the pool. It is mostly used to store firewood these days and really needs the weeds removed. However, it does serve our purpose today. Once he and Tamir were playing nicely, we brought Rojo out to meet him through the fence. Rojo is the pack leader, so him accepting Trigger is key to maintaining pack harmony. We later brought Trigger into the house to meet Throod and Bree. Overall, the meeting went very well. Trigger was an only dog and does not have any canine socialization. He did play too rough and did not pick up on the canine social cues, so Rojo corrected him harshly. We had to separate them and put Trigger in timeout to give all of the dogs a chance to calm down. Some conflict is normal when a new dog joins a pack, so close monitoring is necessary for roughly two weeks to prevent serious injuries. Since you've made it this far into the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I enjoy conversing with my viewers, so please state your views or ask a question in the comments section. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you have not visited the other channel, Kate's Country Critters, please consider doing so. That channel is dedicated to pet grooming. I groom shelter dogs for free and post videos of those grooms on Kate's Country Critters. When I have the time to edit and post videos of interesting other grooms, they go on KCC as well. If you would like to offer monetary support for my efforts on both channels, please subscribe to my Patreon. I offer multiple tiers with different perks for my viewers and higher tiers for Kate's Country Critters customers to budget their grooming needs. Those tiers include bathing and full groom every three months with a maintenance trim and brushing in between. Emergency grooming services are covered by those subscriptions, so if your dog gets sprayed by a skunk or manages to get covered in tree sap, you will not need to worry about additional grooming costs to clean them up. When the channel becomes monetized and Patreon subscriptions cover my financial needs, additional revenue will be directed to forming a 501c3 charity to benefit the Bibb County Alabama Animal Shelter, Bibb County Pet Welfare, a low-cost spay-neuter program, and establish community outreach to aid with pet parent needs such as unexpected veterinary costs, pet parent grooming education, and low-cost dog training services. Trigger was at the shelter for almost two months, and his time was up. He was starting to forget his training and was scheduled to be euthanized. My mother had tried to foster him, but he was a little more dog than her 81-year-old body could handle. She covered his veterinary expenses for vaccinations and neutering, hoping that someone would adopt him since those costs were already taken care of. Unfortunately, most dogs that are over 40 pounds are not adopted in time. Based on his appearance, most people think he has some pit bull in him and most pit bulls do not make it out of this shelter. However, I think he is part American cattle dog and possibly a little bit of Dalmatian in there somewhere. Despite our best efforts and several people looking at him, no one stepped forward to adopt him. The idea of Trigger facing euthanization broke my mother's heart, and I will not have that. 
I have made more than my share of bad choices in my life, but the thought of breaking my mother's heart stopped me from making many, many other bad choices. So we worked out an arrangement. My husband and I adopted Trigger, even though we already have four dogs in a very small home. We will provide him with training and socialize him with our dogs. He will go with me to work every day and stay upstairs with my mother while I groom dogs in the basement. When he is trained enough for her to handle, he might start living with her full time. For now, we are considering this a foster situation. If any of my viewers want to adopt him, there will be a $150 rehoming fee plus transportation costs. This covers the costs of his vaccinations and neuter surgery. Those funds will go to either paying down the shelter's vet bill or to buy food for the animals at the shelter. If no one adopts him, he will remain with us for the rest of his natural life. At the time this video goes live, Trigger has been in our home for four days. He is beginning to understand the house and pack rules, walks nicely on a leash, sits on command about 80% of the time, and responds to his name. At the shelter, he was surrounded by the noise of other dogs, but sequestered away from interacting with them, except for the dog in the kennel directly next to his. They would try to play through the fence. He was showing signs of depression and had forgotten much of the training his original owner had given him. Integrating into the pack has been a different type of stress for him, but his personality is returning to the happy dog I met two months ago. I think I will take Trigger out on a woods walk with Rojo next week. Would you like to see that? If so, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching today. Feel free to stop by anytime.